Hi, this is Kevin Neal from Upscale Audio, and today we're going to talk about the Kabas Java MC40 loudspeaker. Oh my god, okay, well look, they brought the speaker over, look, this is how it goes, right? Here's something, we're having a lot of fun, and sometimes things strike me, I go, hell yeah, we got to make a video about it, and we were listening to these. I said, okay, bring it over to the studio because we've got to film this. I come over here and they've got it up on a stand where it's almost as tall as me. I go, what is the deal with the stand? They go, well, because uh, I said, no, it's a, actually a, a really cool size speaker that'll fit into a lot of homes. It's not ginormous, but it's got great bottom end. They go, well, uh, because we don't want them to see your feet. Well, I go, what's wrong with my feet? Well, your sandals. I go, oh, well, so what? Let them make a comment about your sandals. And apparently, they, you already have made a comment about my sandals, so I, I apologize for them. But you know what? I tell it the way it is, and I don't really get dressed to come down here to make a video. I get dressed to, I make videos when I'm ready to have some fun, and uh, that's why I'm wearing my Alfa Romeo shirt. And yes, I do still own my Julia Quadrifoglio. It's been four years now. It's been the greatest thing I ever bought. So fun. And this is fun. I, look. Cabas is one of the big three loudspeaker manufacturers in uh, France. You know, I don't know if you know that or not. They're a real research and development company. They have a very, very rich history, everything from making things for aircraft carriers to famous palaces to uh, the majority of the movie theaters uh, in France use uh, Cabas. Uh, sound systems, they've got their own R&D department, they make their own, they've got their own robotics. I mean, it's a real company. These guys are not, not posers. And the reason I love this speaker, and I'm going to show you in a second, is because of the way, so, something that they like to call a uh, spatially coherent system, which I like to talk about as being something that would be, you know, I have a thing about dual concentric drivers, and that's kind of what these folks are about. I'm gonna show you that here in just a moment. Oh, look at this grill, by the way. Isn't that nice? It's very nicely done, and it's magnetic, and just pops right off. Look at this speaker, oh my God. Now, spatially coherent system, what are they talking about here? I like phase coherence, and part of the reason I'm so sensitive to it is, I don't know why I'm so sensitive to it. I think it's because I think you know that I, I did crooners, I like vocals a lot, and sometimes I listen to really simple music, simple music, you know, like acapella stuff, and that's when that problem seems to rear its ugly head to me, you know, and I like to not hear a mid-range driver and a tweeter. I like it to come from a single point source, and that's why, you know, there's a couple other speakers that, that have that type of uh, sound and performance, and that's what this driver is all about. This is the, uh, the BC-10, and this came from, uh, it is a trickle-down part of a driver called the TC-23, which was used in their speaker called La Ocean and uh, La Sphere. La Sphere, oh my God, you know what they did with that. That was a speaker, which is a sphere with a triaxial driver on the front and a separate base driver that made out of carbon fiber on the rear and eight channels of dedicated, specially designed power amplifiers and $225,000 for a pair. And all of this is really from what they learned from designing and making a speaker like that. This driver is absolute butter. This is a horn-loaded high-frequency driver uh, that is mounted within, see this donut right here? That is the mid-range driver. So you're playing back music, you know, remember that. Music is recorded to a single point source, right? Which is a microphone. Now you're trying to play it back to the degree you can, uh, from a single point source. And that means your brain is less confused and it's a more coherent presentation. And what I love about this driver is it, ha it hits that magic point where it has plenty of air, plenty of air, but it absolutely does not ring and it doesn't have any uh, bite to it, and it's a, an absolute joy. And then you have these two base drivers here. These are made of a, a material that they like to call Duocell, and they make these at Kabas with robotics. And even though it looks like this cone is maybe a single thickness, uh, it is not. It is a variable thickness cone. They make it in-house. It's very, very light. 
is very, very fast. Reacts quickly, no overhang, no boominess. It's just absolutely beautiful. And so you have two uh, seven inch woofers. They're, they're just about seven inches. I think they're 170 millimeters. Or so just about seven inches. So how do they sound? They're, they're super neutral. They're just super pleasing, really easy to listen to. And I think that we're at a place where there's a lot of people that say, I want a speaker that is easy to place, that's not difficult to place, uh, and that does not take up a lot of space. So if you look at this cabinet, you know, it has a, a beautiful shape to it, a curved cabinet, so you don't have any standing waves inside of it. And it's just easy, easy to place and easy, easy on the eyes. And they're under $3,000 a pair. God, I hope they don't raise the price after I say this. They're well under that, actually. And uh, an absolute bargain from such a, a fantastic manufacturer. They're 90 dB efficient, so they're pretty damn easy to drive. You can run them with a Prima Luna. Uh, you can run them with a 36 watt tube amp, right? You can run them with a reasonable solid state amp and they, they just don't seem to fight with the amplifier. The, the impedance minimum is just under four ohms, but that's not tough, right? 90 dB efficient, you'll, you'll be able to rock it really, really super easy. Oh my God, I love this speaker, man. We're over there listening to it because they make a larger speaker called the uh, Murano Alto and that speaker just, it just rocked my world. But you know, and not everybody's got, you know, $6,700, I think it is for a pair of them. This is just so cool because there's so many people that want to get a high-end system that don't quite have enough jack for a speaker like that. And this gives you so much of what that speaker does. The cabinet, as it stands right now, it's available in this finish, which is kind of like a brushed metal look is the best way to describe it. It's a machined uh, look that is, I would call it brushed is what I would call it. And it looks really, 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 really nice. Now as to having any other finishes, I would hope that we can get them, but uh, I don't know that we will. Go to the website, go to the Upscale Audio website and you can check on that. And I want to say something else to you. It's important that we talk to our local dealers. So if you have a local Kabas dealer, make sure that you support them because I think every town is better off with a record store and a hi-fi store. That's really how I feel. But if not, contact us at Upscale Audio. We have non-commissioned salespeople here that will talk to you about what you're trying to have happen. Speakers first. Speakers are the most important thing. I don't care what you spend on amplification. This is the beginning and the end for your system. It is. So make sure that you get this right. And we're help here to help you at Upscale Audio because you know why? We're gonna treat your system like it's ours. Thank you.